The Water Cycle by kscience.com. Water Cycle shows how water is cycled around our world via non living and through living organisms. Most of the water on Earth is found in our seas and oceans, including water from the lakes. Energy from the sun heats this water up and it converts it from a liquid into a gas. So energy from the sun converts the water in our seas and oceans from a liquid into a gas. And this gas is water vapour. The process of heating water from a liquid and into a gas is called evaporation. This is when the water turns from a liquid into a gas. This arrow here shows how the temperature cools as you increase the altitude away from sea level. So it cools. What happens is, is warm air rises, so the evaporated water from the seas and oceans will rise. And as they rise to cooler altitudes, warm air will condense as it cools. It will condense into liquid water. This condensation of water vapour will then condense and then collect as rain as the rain droplets get larger. When the rain droplets get too big, they will then fall. So the rain or snow or hail are going to fall and we call that precipitation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Precipitation is going to then transport the water back down to the ground. It will transport it back into the lakes, rivers and also back into the seas. This shows water runoff into the streams, lakes and rivers. This will then potentially go back into the seas and oceans. Water is absorbed by the roots of plants. This water will go through the plant or tree by the process of transpiration. Water is absorbed as a liquid, it goes through the plant and it evaporates out of the leaf as a gas back into the atmosphere, whereby this water vapour will eventually rise, form clouds and then fall as precipitation. Animals are going to drink the water. We then excrete the water or we sweat the water or water is going to leave our body via the byproduct of respiration that we breathe out. And this water vapour is going to rise, condense and then form rain as clouds and fall as precipitation back into the seas and oceans and lakes and rivers. This is how water is cycled around our earth. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.